All right, YouTube. Today we're gonna play some Death Shadow. Uh, this is pretty pretty similar to what we've been playing. I put a Hercules Recall for the artifact decks, so I'm starting to pick up a little bit. Quite a bit of artifact hate in my in my deck, which might be a little too much, but you know, it's what we've got right now. I haven't played too too much. I haven't played this in a little while, so might be a little. Uh, might be a little rusty. List might not be super good. Good morning. Uh, it it is right eye. Hope you're having a good rest, good start to your day. But yeah, let's start in. I'm already in a league. I'm one and one. I lost to Hardened Scales, which was infuriating with how much artifact hate I had. I don't think I played very well either. But they they had two timely dismembers. Like they dismembered a Shadow game one, dismembered an Angler on game two. That like. <clears throat> Really set me back. Um, then I beat Amulet Titan in two pretty convincing games. So yeah, we're one and one this league. Hopefully, we can clear out three more. Okay, we're paired up. Hey, Phil, come here, bud. You gotta come here, Phil. Yeah, I haven't. I've been haven't been streaming too too much lately because my in laws were in town, and Philly's also recovering from a bit of a surgery. He got neutered and then had a chemical had an had an allergic reaction to some of the stuff that they use to um, desensitize the area when they shave him. So he basically has like a chemical burn on his bag, which is pretty awful. I'm going to keep his hand. It's pretty mopey, but, you know, let's just play magic. I'm going to bobble my opponent, see what they're doing here to kind of hopefully inform my serum visions a little bit. Strip. Oh, okay, so they're, the, they're like a nonsense Electro Dominance deck. All right, well, we need a threat, discard, stubborn denial is what we're looking for. Okay. Uh, let's put this on the bottom, put this on top. Looks like we're in the market for a little bit of nonsense. This is like a living end as for, as for told deck. <coughs> Ancestral Visions, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So that's got to be pretty good because we're looking for, like, we don't need this. Uh, this Snapcast Maze might be slow. We're, or we're looking for, like, a Street Wraith to turn on our Shadow. Or if we find an Angler, we can get the Angler into play. So we're definitely like getting rid of this push in one Snapcaster Mage. And then I will pass through this turn and I will bobble at the end of my opponent's turn. Yeah, I mean, hard scales is tough. I need to get a threat online with Stubborn Denial next turn. We could be in a little bit of trouble. Heal until my sun step. Thought scour on myself. Inquisition's not bad. Uh, that sucks. Okay. We have plenty of interaction. So... My opponent doesn't really have a lot going on. But if they just march their way up to like this four drop, we're gonna have a little bit of a tough time. We're like a fetch land away from being in really good shape here. Surprised they didn't cycle. Oh, I guess they suspended. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh. 
Wow, no land. And they didn't cycle four land, which means they probably hit like a remand. Jeez. That sucks. That was a little unfortunate. Okay. This likely means they're going to draw these cards because we would have to hit like Street Wraith into Fetchland in order to prevent this from happen happening next turn because like we need to be able to do ourselves at least five points of damage to turn on the stubborn mount or if we draw Gurmag Angler we could easily draw Gurmag Angler and be in good shape but we're just going to stub whatever this play is here so now we're likely off stubbing this which could be bad for the home team all right like So do we, how many do we play? I think we just play all of them. Because if my opponent goes like, as foretold into Living End, then we're pretty much just dead anyways because they put what? They put like 20 power of flying into play. So we're just jamming, crossing our fingers here. Plus, if we don't jam and our opponent just, like, lands a Chalice of the Void, then, like, we're not really doing anything. I think this is a Chalice of the Void deck. All right, you got it. You got it with that Tormod's Crypt action. All right, so if my opponent goes to, we're just gonna snap stub. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, opponent. They could like, as foretold him to restore balance, I guess, and that would be pretty bad. I only know one of those six cards. I'm just gonna, if they go to like upkeep, I'm just gonna snap stub it, then I'm gonna draw a street wraith into a fetch land like a professional. Transmute, this is an engineered explosive probably, or living end. Okay. All right, so much for the snapcaster line. Drew Angler, nice. Um, is there any reason to battle rage? This is four, it would be eight damage if I battle raged versus six. And then if I draw a land, I can go snap battle rage. But if I if they were at six and I draw a land, it's like a million damage anyway, so I'll just wait. Let's just say no. Okay. So this living end resolves, we're just gonna pack it up here. Events untapped. Okay, this is an Azure Toll. We're going to right click, scoop it up. Because, like, we're just not beating whatever 14 power being put into play. We need just a little, we need just a little more gas in that game. So, these fatal pushes are not good. Um, 
Lightning Bolt's probably okay. Uh, these Surgicals are probably where I want to be. I don't really see anything I'm that excited about. Like, I could just hedge and cut, like... Like, I could shave a Snapcaster Mage for a Anna Braid in case they are a Chalice deck. Because we didn't see any cantrips, so this deck could easily be a Chalice deck. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I play with a Golden Cave, that's Shadow Zoo, the deck you play with a lot of, final one, a Swiss leading to Burn in the semifinals. Yeah, it's, I mean, the, the deck's pretty decent, like, it's pretty aggressive. This is a turn two Angler, which is nice. We can even hold our Wraith and sandbag this for a little bit. Uh, Philly boy. Oh, he's he's napping, Lawrence. He's he's napping. We we let him nap. <clears throat> oh, we guessed right. Is there any way to make the burn matchup better? Do you think the best way to be burned with that deck is to just like. I don't know, mulligan well and put your head down, I think. Like, you're, you're playing a mutagenic growth Death Shadow deck. Like, you know, you, you're, you're, not, you're not really equipped to handle burn. How are you this morning, Lawrence? You should have keep the combo. You probably shaved Tarmogoyce. Bring in Collective Brutalities and, like, just keep a one-drop hand that's really good. All right, let's... We didn't mill over our creatures, so we don't have to cycle this. We're just going to get a Blood Crypt. Yeah. That'll be probably the last red source we look for. All right, there's our boy. Okay, cycle that. You got it. We do need to find some permission, but we can look for Street Wraith next turn. It's another chalice. Oof. Okay, that's gonna make things harder. Oh, I should have surgical the Ser the the Ser the desert seraton response to that. Yeah, I muffed that up. All right, let's just attack. Because I, I would have nabbed a card out of their hand, too. That's what over my head. Okay, dismember. So one, two, three. We can't quite play Angler this turn because we put three cards in the board and we only have three mana. So we will pass. Don't do this to me, opponent. Okay. Would have been so nice to just get rid of that. Um, get rid of this desert seraphon. I'm not just gonna thought seize just to fill my graveyard up so that I can play another angler next turn in case this one gets bounced by like a cryptic command. Yep, you got it. You got it. I guess we were right about the Chalice plan, but we don't really have enough for it. <clears throat> That's not good. Um, I'm going to fetch. You suck, Brandon. But seriously, good luck today. I got surgical right now. 
but like that might tip them off. Basically, have to hope my opponent's like an eight. Okay, no, that doesn't really matter anymore. Um, we just get in here first. And I guess I'm just going to play another angler. <clears throat> what am I, what is a second angler beating? Like, I guess they play a creature. We have dismember. I guess the second angler is not really beating a lot. But like, what am I going to do? Not play it. Opponent might crack the Tormod's Crypt. They should, they should, in response to this, crack the Crypt. Worst deck in the format throughout the history of time. Do you sleep well, Brandon? You ready to, you ready to win an open today? You feeling good? Probably should have gotten an untapped basic there so that I could leave one more card in my graveyard. And again, we could have taken these Ceratopses out of the deck. Stuff like shit, and I'm tired. As foretold, in the living end. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I yield. This format does suck. And, like, all of these, like, I think this New Horizons Modern is just going to make it worse. Because, like, all the cards that people want printed are just going to make the format. Ah, uh, this hand's, like, you know, you got to keep it. All the cards people want in the format are just going to make it worse. This is an Ether Vial. Nice. These are dead. All right, well, we're going to, I think we're going to discard spell, try to punch a hole with our discard here. Though, I see our visioning's on one's kind of mopey. They're drawing a cavern. So I'm just going to take this Thalia Guardian of Thraven, because if we don't hit a land, we can't cast spells. And they could just play it. Yeah, and all the cards that people want, like, that are talking about on Twitter that would, like, oh, this is going to make the format so much better. I'm like, no, it's not. It would literally make the format worse. Like, the format needs, it doesn't need cool cards from Legacy. It needs cards that are banned. And, like, if you, if you, if you bring in, like, all the dink and dunk cool cards. Or standard seems to be. Yeah, it's either standard or, or Legacy. Legacy is really good. I mean, I guess Legacy has the problem of where, like, you just get chaliced out of a lot of games. So we're definitely going to probably go get a Steam Vents, Serum Visions, and then Inquisition this Reflector Mage. Then we're taking five next turn. Play Shadow. We're Seer Visioning. We're looking for a Battle Rage. I need to get a Red Source, I think. So, alternatively, I could just get this. Well, no, I need to take this Reflector Mage, I think. Yeah. Oh my God, Splinter Twin would do so much good stuff for this format. Maybe now, I guess I can take Mantis Rider, and then I can Thought Seize this Reflector Mage if they try to hold it, play a slower game. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play a slow game now that we hit another discard spell. Now I feel dumb fetching the Steam Vents, because like we can't double black spell, but like such is life. Okay, there's the Vile. 
Yeah, dude. With the amount of crap that goes on in this format, uh, what do we get? Another uh, lieutenant? No image. Okay. That's beatable. So we thought sees, we go to nine, we get cracked to five. Yeah, I mean, we, we have to thought sees. Like, we can't. We can't win the game, but I'm just getting super punished for this line. So maybe I should have just, like, discard spelled and not done anything. I'm going to definitely dismember uh, one of these here. Why'd you get Steve Benz? Well, I wanted a red source because, like, I thought the easiest way for me to win this game when I took this card was to dig to Battle Rage plus Shadow. So I wanted to cantrip and cast off here, but, like, I'm super punished for that. And, like, probably there's, like, such a thin line to go get a... Uh, there's not a lot to... Or not a thin line. How do I say this? There's not a lot of percentages to hit that. that that's why I did like that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I just, like zoned there we're waking up we're waking up you are 100 percent right because we have another shadow in play and we'd be cracking for nine last turn yeah i better get this coffee into me baby because our heads are up our ass yeah, but no, that was 100% egregious. I'm like, go get this. <laughs> My sideboard's also garbage against this deck. Yeah, I could have angled and shadowed, you're right. But, like, I was digging, like, at the time with, like, this Mantis Rider and Reflector Mage in hand. I didn't think I was going to have enough time to play Gurmag Angler. God, I swear to God, you violent or reflect your mage in my hurl. How many Ben cards do you have in the sideboard? I don't think I have any. I think my deck's pretty home, pretty, uh, We're not beating a Reflector Mage, so I'm just going to bluff whatever Lightning Bolt. There's no sense in, like, saving with our Delve. I think my sideboard... I played a Hercules Recall because, like, I just wanted one of these. I didn't play a Liliana of the Veil today, but I played a Hercules Recall because I wanted another card against Artifact decks that, like, didn't cost four mana. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Why, why would you do this? That's wild. Like, why Why didn't you just vile this in and attack me? I'm flabbergasted. Alpine Moon on Horizon can't be. I do not know. I'm very confused about what exactly is going on here. Like, my opponent's likely going to beat me, unless we draw, like, basic land or battle rage. All right. Let's just see what they put in. Yeah, why don't you just play this on your main phase? Okay. But I don't, I don't get what you're, what you're beating by holding this. I don't know. You're not beating, like, you're not playing around battle rage. You're never beating battle rage, I don't think. I mean, I guess... If my shadow's a nine, what if I play a land? I don't, I don't know. Okay, so this is just kind of all kill spells on deck, I guess. Like, these commands are not great. But, like, they are likely better than... I probably have to keep my Gurmag Anglers in because I don't have a good substitution. Like, 
the commands aren't that good, but they're better. They're better than nothing. The brutalities could come in. I hate both of these. Like the only reason that the veil is any good is for the mirror. And like, there's just no small creature decks around right now. It's so like last hope's not that good. I guess like hardened scales, but like I don't think last hope's how you're beating hardened scales. We I think we'd have had a chance to win that game if we hadn't had our like little sequencing blender there. The old coffee hasn't gotten to me yet. Yeah, we're just gonna submit this. All right, I would like to play first. Shattering Blow. That's how you do it. All right, Heater. Not really. I mean, whatever. It's like a, it's like a turn one discard spell, turn two shadow. It might not be that bad. My deck's also not like equipped to beat this because like. Unfortunately, like, humans just, like, isn't that great. I don't think it's good against Dredge, and I don't think it's good against the Phoenix decks. So, like, but it's, it's very good against this deck, especially when you're not sideboarding for it. Canopy on top. Well, that's slower than Frozen Ketchup. So we just take Reflector Mage. They're drawing another land. We play Shadow. We snap Thoughtseize take another Reflector Mage on our turn three. I'd like to draw something to do. That counts. So let's just go get a Blood Crypt. Let's do this right this time. Uh, we probably can just keep, just keep everything that kills something. The next turn, we snap, discard, and attack. We can actually crack in for quite a few points. You got it. That doesn't do anything. Uh, Cavern of Souls. I think my opponent kept a pretty poor hand. Now we'll get a Steam Vent so our man is like fully cleaned up and online. Take this, and we're just gonna we're gonna try to kill them before these buglers take the game over, which we might be able to do. Like we have a lot of pressure. We have an angler coming down, plus a removal spell next turn, and we'll probably be able to get in with our snap. Like we can just like kill this bugler, get in with our snapcaster and our shadow. We think of a pavilion clicking the sideboard. I've never played it, to tell you the truth. That's annoying, but beatable. We're probably just going to end up killing this Militia Bugler because it enables an attack with Snapcaster Mage. Alternatively, I could get like a two for one with like Bang Bang, but they'll just discard spell the, um, they'll just pitch their canopy, which isn't horrible. Oriok Champion, all right, that's going to make things a lot harder. Now I'm probably just killing the champion. I don't know what I'm doing now. Now this game's going to get harder. So I can snap Serum Visions to look for Battle Rage, but that seems pretty loose. I honestly kind of want to just a, like cast down this Militia Bugler and then play Gurmag Angler. And then like slowly start to pick off the things around my opponent. Because if they're gonna 
like they can play five mana and they can play Bugler or Yacht Champion next turn, which makes this big. I think getting in the two points is worth isn't worth getting rid of this body though. So we're just gonna attack here. We're gonna kill this. I will not be playing the Legacy Challenge today. I am uh I am a bit bit booked up. Uh, my mom's gonna be in town. I should have waited and attacked first because they might have blocked with it. You know, like they probably wouldn't have, but like it would have been technically correct to do that. Another line of play was to K command the Noble Hierarch because that could jam my opponent's mana up. But I think we're just going to try to press the advantage here. If I was going to play a Legacy Challenge, I had a deck yesterday. I played a bit yesterday and did really did pretty well. I think I went like 11 and 4 over three leagues. Yeah, Oriok Champion's good. Okay, so they didn't play the Canopy. So they still have a Canopy in their hand. That's their last card. Into a Freebooter. Okay, so I think I just attack with both of my big creatures. Leave my Snapcaster Mage back. My opponent's going to put Freebooter on the stack. Okay, so now we're more likely to get a real card. I guess we could be in a little bit of trouble here. All right, so that resolves. We're going to go shock this discard. Just because, like... It's a flyer. Like, it doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't really matter very much what we do here. I mean, it kind of does. Like, this is a flyer that, like, we can't block. And now they're forced to block Angler and, um, they're forced to block Angler and Shadow this turn. That's a great draw for the home team. So if I block... Block, block. I take four. They have to go. They go block, chump. Next turn, I have another Snapcaster Mage that can trade with this. I think I'm just going to take this. Let's start here because we, we can just hit a Battle Rage. All right, that's pretty solid as well. We hit a Lightning Bolt and a Dismember. So we just lose to Mantis Rider. So I attack with both. They go block here, block here. They have one blocker. We just had to fade Mantis Rider, basically. And then we should be good. Because we just whittle away their board too much. Okay. So now we're not dead to Mantis Rider. I guess we still are dead to Mantis Rider. Because we can only block two of these. So maybe I shouldn't have attacked with one of them, but I don't know. I guess we're dead to a lot more things than I thought. Maybe this attack was loose. Glad we didn't play our Shadow before combat like a Dingus. So now my opponent has to block everything because they know we have Snapcaster Mage. I haven't played this this hand this uh, game super well, so they have to go block, 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 get in for two, abyss their board. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. What does this do? What does this Snapcast Mage do? Not a lot. If I attack with this, I guess it's just a free two points of damage. But then they can like Violent or Reflector Mage. Yeah. 
Might as well. It just does chip damage. I don't think chip damage is worth it when they have to double abyss. So we're going to hold it. Yeah, vials online. That's what I... That's what I meant. Oh, that's not what I meant. I'm, I'm confused. So this is like a noble champion parish. So what is this? Do we have to kill anything before blockers? No, they still have to like double abyss here. Though if they leave a bugler up, I should wait. Yeah, that's how, that's how you beat the Titan decks. Okay. So now I should Snapcaster bolt this Militia Bugler because I don't want them to draw like a Thalia's Lieutenant and be able to counter my bolt. And still, even if they play, well, I guess I beat everything, right? How do I lose? I don't know how I lose. Like, because they're so far into the abyss. I'm definitely playing this tapped. Like, Thalia's Lieutenant off the vial is kind of annoying. I'm just trying to think of, like, how this goes bad for me. I don't really know how it does. So I guess I can just wait. One, two, three. Oh, it's a match rider. Okay. Yeah, that's so that's another way it goes bad. So just snap bolt this. <clears throat> they always top deck the Mantis Rider when they need it. So we just kill them here, right? Because we go snap bolt, clear a blocker, snap dismember. They can only block one shadow. Oh, well, let's leave a red mana up. Snap caster mage, target lightning bolt. Bolt this. Yeah, you get your life. Just dismember the blocker, swing there for 42. I don't even know if I have to dismember the blocker, but I'm just going to do it because I want to. We're not going to play four life. That's not going to happen. So for everyone was looking for the memes, we're not going to do that. And now we should right-click attack all. And again, we're just gonna submit like I could I could cut some of these Gurmag anglers for collective brutalities, but that's pretty medium. Like our sideboard's not super set up to handle humans. But that's the life. I'm gonna grab some more coffee, I'll be right back.
Uh, I'm going to mulligan. Because even if we get this Jace online, the only things we're flashing back are Dismember, and that's just going to kill us. And we couldn't just not hit a Black Source. This hand is explosive. Let's put that on the bottom. Like, if we get to point something, if we get to point this Dismember at something on turn two, holy shit. No, we didn't get to point it at something. Philly boy just came over here, so we're going for a ride, Twitch chat. Everybody say good morning to Philly boy. He's he's having a hard time at the moment. He basically has a chemical burn on his bag because he was alert in allergic reaction to some of the lotion they put on after he got neutered. So everybody love Phil, the poor guy. <clears throat> okay, come on, let me kill something. Don't play a freaking pal, yeah. Okay. So now I think I'm gonna fetch a basic. Or not a basic, a tap land. We're gonna have to play this like kinda slow. Because we're going to have to pay four life. We're going to have to pay like seven life here, likely. And then we play a shock land, which puts us to ten. We have a play as well. What is this, like a noble hierarch? Okay. If they play a mantis rider. I can also dismember a mantis rider. <clears throat> Phil feels your energy. He moved over here. He's right beside me. Little cutie. Okay, so here's a match rider. So we're gonna dismember this. I think. Because we can block this. And we have the lands to like to get us the necessary spells. We could get like meddling mage here or freebootered. Okay, that doesn't super duper matter. I mean, it does matter, but like we still have another one. We have two ways to kill a creature. So we're taking quite a bit of damage here, but. So we're taking two. Five, nine. Let's just get a blood crypt. I don't think we can afford to deal with the freebooter, unfortunately. I don't think humans is making a comeback, unfortunately. How's it going, Andy? Like I think humans is a pretty decent deck at the moment, but the problem is you just cannot beat the Phoenix deck. Okay, so that's going to do something in a little while. Do I have how much damage do I have to take? Because if I play this thing tapped, the problem is if I don't play my Shockland tapped and they violin like a Thalia's lieutenant, then the Thalia eats my shadow if I block it. Yeah, things do have to. Even though they can't beat it. Yes, but like, you don't have to like, I don't know the right word to describe this. Um, I don't think it'll rise to the top. Well, that's not exactly true. Cork, Cork Great versus all the Phoenix bad matchups. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think they're good against Dredge. 
I think I'm shocking and just playing two five fives because I don't want I want to be able to block this. Because basically what's going to happen is if I don't shock, I'm going to take three damage because they're going to attack with both of these. If I do shock, I'm going to take two damage, which puts me to six. I'm not going to shock. I just won't block this, take three damage, and call it a day. I'm not sure it is. Like, because, like, aren't, isn't humans, like, I'm not a humans, like, professional, but isn't humans poor against dredge as well? And it's like when you have a bad match against like the top however many decks in the format, that seems rough. Okay. All right, no plays from our opponent. So I just attack with two Death Shadows. Oh, this deck is so hard to play. I attack with two shadows and then have a blocker, or do I just play another shadow? Am I attacking both? I'm gonna do this so that I can snap dismember. Snap dismember puts me to four, which means that uh whatever mantis rider is lethal. Just fine if you're not favored, but it's not a knockout or anything. Okay. I think I'm just attacking with both, and then passing. And I need to, like, in response to a vial on two, I probably have to flash in my dis... I probably have to dismember. Because it could be a meddling mage that can target snapcast, because they know I have the snapcaster mage. <clears throat> All right, we'll take this. So now we can play a shadow. Oh, they're gonna put another one in. So this has to be a Thalia, right? We don't have to act here. So I'm not I'm not gonna act. If it's a meddling mage, I'm gonna feel really stupid, but I'm fairly certain it's another Thalia, okay. So I think we're not gonna play another shadow. We're just gonna pass. You don't even think, well, maybe you would definitely play another shadow. Because I, I want to be able to dismember. Like, I can go dismember this, trade here, I go to four, and they're, they're going to have to block. So now I have to dismember this. Because if I'm not dismembering right here, then I'm not going to be able to dismember again. Why not play a shadow? You don't need to. Then being able to force to block two shadows, and now we're getting browned here. Yeah, I've, I've, I've played pretty poorly this morning. Okay, so now they just mage me. Okay. Yeah, now I'm now I'm like, ugh. Now we're getting worked. If I had three shadows here, I'd be in a much better spot. Yep, y'all, y'all were right. So we might as well take a look. I don't know what this would be. It's probably a land. <coughs> because my opponent would have played it, but I guess I should just do this here. Yeah, no, you guys were right. I should have just played a Death Shadow. But I, there's no reason to not cast this, I guess. Yeah. So now I just attack with both. Yeah, no, I, I, I messed this up.
represent Battle Rage. Yeah, I'm not playing super well this morning. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place, chat. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. So now they can't attack unless they draw a creature. No wire, okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, no, they have to chump away everything. So they get him for three. They still just go eat this, chump, 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 chump. So I need to draw something. I need to draw like a lightning bolt or a fatal push. And then I win. But if I don't, I can just attack here. They go block, block. I guess we just hold back Snapcaster Mage because they can't keep Exalt. They can't they can't lethal me through the air next turn anyways. Yeah. All right, there's our Battle Rage. So now we just send in here. They probably keep their Thalia. Their last card in hand is a Cavern. We basically have to make it so one of these Noble Hierarchs has to block. I can dodge you them after combat. That's why I, I, if I'm playing good enough where I would do that. Okay. Oh. Little brother called me. So now they have to rip. Like, they need to rip. What kills me? Reflector Mage kills me. Mantis Rider kills me. That's pretty much it, though. They got, like, seven cards in their deck that just kill me. Canopy's a redraw that doesn't do it. They probably should have moved this up to three. So they could, like, draw with Canopy. Bugler. I mean, Bugler gets them. Another, they hit a two drop. They just didn't. They just whiffed. Yeah, now they're just in the. Now they're just dead. <sighs> Whew. Yeah, I did not play that very well. I should have just played the shadow and raced. And like, because if. If I play the Shadow, it's basically the same thing as dismembering something. And I can still just flash my Snapcaster Mage in for a blocker because I put them in, like, the Abyss. So yeah, I didn't play this very well. This was not good. No bueno. Yeah, they definitely should have ticked it up to three. Because if they tick it up to three, then it lets them draw... Canopy and like crack canopy for a redraw. I did enjoy the player on middling mage until they drew it. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about it. So what are you thinking? I think that New Horizon is actually gonna make modern worse because all of these sweet value cards, like so everyone wants value cards. The the the, the cards they can put in from legacy into the set. Now they might reprint cards. Like I don't know, but like my incl I guess I guess I have to think that my inclination is that it's not going to be good. I have to wait, I have to like preference myself. I don't think printing new cards to slow down the format is going to help when it can incentivize like the cards that they could reprint from legacy that will sell boxes will um, will incentivize the format to move faster, I think. Like, some of the, like, the, the flashy cards people want to see, I think everyone wants Baleful Strix. I think Baleful Strix just makes it so people want to ignore it, and they're going to play faster, similar to what they did with Jason Bloodbrail. 
like Charlotte's agent, um, Force of Will. I think, I think Force of Will might be decent in the format. To be honest, I think Days is horrible. I think Wasteland is horrible. Um, I think cards you need are like Containment Priest. I think Containment Priest would be good. I think Flusterstorm would be good. Um, I think those are really good ads to improve the quality of modern, but they're not going to add just those cards because, like, no one wants to, like, when everyone's like, dude, I can get my Shardless Agent. I was like, you know what's going to, like, not care if you Shardless Agent your Baleful Strix? Like, Dredge. You know, you're just going to incentivize people to move away from each other, similar to what Bloodbright Elf and Jace did. Factor Fiction is like whatever. I mean, that, that's another card they could reprint that's just going to make the format faster, I think. Like, I, th I think Force of Will is really important. They need the best flexible answers. Yeah, so cards like Containment Priest would be very good, I think. I, I think that uh, this hand is good. Yes. I'd like focus on the talk and the game. But like... What does Baleful Strix do in modern? It kills the Ether Vial decks, then people go from Ether Vial to oh gosh. Um But we can get rid of this Thought Seize. Our opponent is playing a Raven's Crime deck and did not choose to draw. That is interesting. Um let's cycle this first. Okay, so we're gonna discard that. I think I, I honestly think that Force of Will might be good in modern. It might be good for modern. Like I, I worry about, like, you just turn this deck into the legacy version with bad cantrips. Okay, so my opponent's going to wrench mine me. I'm going to discard Fatal Push, Battle Rage. And then I'm going to take the Liliana. So I think what I have to do is actually take this Liliana and then, like, put two cards in the graveyard, Inquisition again, and then play Gurmag Angler. And then just play off the top. Like, I, I can't let this Liliana resolve. And that's, like, if this Liliana resolves, I'm never going to win. But, like, if you put days in the format, this deck's ridiculous. Because, like, you just get more cheap interaction. I think Forcible might be too good in this deck. I don't know. I think that it's very easy to... Um, I think it's very easy to potentially, like... We you print a bunch of fair, good fair cards, the format becomes more of, like, things that don't want to interact in Death Shadow versus everything else. You have to ban. You Like, Modern needs bannings. They don't need cards that fix things. No. Get rid of that. Main deck and Snaring Bridge. Um, do any of my red cards matter? And do I want to cast multiple blue cards. None of my red cards are going to do anything. Faithless Living is bad. Team or Battle Rage is likely going to be bad. I'm just going to get one of these. Because, like, we could chain cantrips. But I guess we're not going to do any chaining because we're not going to have cards in our hand because of Raven's Crime. So maybe I was supposed to get a basic there to be able to try and race a, uh, and like, a, a rack effect. Yes. Like... And the problem is, is that the things that make modern a good contain a good format, a good competitive format, like yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about, um, is like Splinter Twin, like how are they? Oh, that's not from their hand. Like they need Splinter Twin in the format, something that checks everything. You know, like that's how that's how you beat modern. That's how you fix modern. I think. I'm going to play this because we're going to lose it anyways. Like, but, like, the problem is, as a casual format, Splinter Twin is awful. Like, if one of us shows up to a Splinter Twin event, then... Yes, but, like, if you go to FNM and somebody's playing Twin and then somebody's just playing, like, random... I'm going to just fetch here. No, I shouldn't fetch because they're just going to field me. This was stupid. This is, like, the talking issue here. I guess they're not going to field me. All right, we have a plan, Chief. Um, we'll just be by far the best deck again. I'm not sure we'll be by far the best deck again. Like, I think Splinter Twin would struggle against this. All right, I yield. 
but um like the format's different. I think the problem with like Splinter Twin being able to change into a control deck with Jace the Mind Sculptor is scary. So like maybe that's probably gonna make it bad, but like Splinter Twin at a casual level of magic is horrible. Because if you go to FM and you're like a new player and you play against a Splinter Twin person that knows what's going on, they're just gonna clown you. Yeah, I played during Twin Time. Yeah. I learned to play during Splinter Twin. Oh, but I feel the exact same. I go to FNM and try something fancy, and I'll be the player to the same ways. Yes, but like, yeah, I mean, I guess like that's what I'm saying. Modern's just modern's awful. Um, I'm gonna bring these in because they kill uh, they kill artifacts. Um, I want to bring in like I want to bring in anything that can like pr give me more cards in hand. So like this should go. All my Jays. Um, even Collective brut Brutality is okay, but like I'd have to cut them, cut Fatal Pushes, and sometimes that hits. Sometimes this deck has like Pack Rat, however memeish that is. And Brutality is not that good because I never want to escalate it because I want to keep cards in my hand. I basically want to just draw, and then I want to keep as many two for ones in my deck as possible to make it so I have more cards. I think for sake of magic, modern being competitive, casual focus, casual should fail. But... Yeah, exactly. I agree, Andy. Like, the problem with modern is that you can play all these decks that's not correct to play and, like, just put your head down and not play magic against somebody. Like, no one should be playing the blue-red as foretold deck that we played, in my opinion, earlier. But, like, when it comes to a competitive magic, it is incorrect to play that deck. Like, like in my opinion... Let me go here. Like, what makes Modern horrible is that in all of the decks that there are in... Out of all the decks there are in the format, it is probably correct to be playing one, two, three, four, five... Like, yeah, sure, six. I don't think it's correct to play this. Seven... Eight, nine. Okay, so let's say let's just like go over the top and say it's it's correct to play like twelve archetypes. You could just never run into like a, a lot of those. Like people can just play anything. They're unplayable, exactly. All right, I would like to draw and keep. No, the rock doesn't matter. I would like to know how many, like, rock decks or jun decks get registered out of, like, registered to a tournament versus how well they do. Like, I want to know Dark Confidant's conversion rate. All right, go back to John. You Sally. How you doing, John? Shrinking Affliction. I kind of just want to wait. How does this work? Will I draw the cards? It won't matter. They're not going to put me that low in my total. I guess I should just Serum Visions. And then I can protect my top card. And then maybe set up like a good Gurmag turn next turn. Okay, we don't want this. We are going to want this because we're going to want to take a Liliana. And I'm just going to play these out and I'm going to check them out in my opponent's upkeep. Oh, you're right. You're right. Just thought to get hit so hard by that. There's smallpox. <clears throat> why did you why did you replace push with surgical? Because, like, I, I, I'm afraid of getting, like, afraid of, I want to deal with this and this. That thing's going to kill me. Okay. It's kind of odd that you have smallpox in there. It's This is just magic online in its purest form. 
So we can play Shadow plus... Um, we can play a Shadow, but let's just discard Spell first. Double Liliana of the Veil, and I can cast them both. Jesus. I just can't beat this Liliana. We're going to have to cycle these Street Wraiths and look for another discard spell or a Street Wraith. Or a, another discard spell or a Stub. Because these are just going to body me. All right, well, at least we can deal with Bob. Oh, there's no card that buries. There's no card that buries Death Shadow like Liliana the Veil. You ever just die on turn two? Yeah, that's just what happened. This card is, like, I think this card is, like, absolutely pretty, it's pretty poor in the format right now, but it is an absolute knockout against Death Shadow. Just destroys Death Shadow. This is, like, like if you want to beat Death Shadow, play Liliana right now. Because, like, you just can't beat it. I need, like, two threats this turn. And to kill them before they kill this Shrieking Affection deals damage to me. Which is some of their last card, Smallpox, too. So they have, like, creature removal. All right. Well, that's interesting. I guess I just go snap, discard, spell. Modern needs reanimate. Modern needs, like... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go snap, discard, take this smallpox. Then, like, they might go up, and then I'll play Death Shadow next turn. Because, like, they're incentivized to go up because um, because it means the Shrieking Affliction is going to deal more damage to me quicker. Well, they're, they're Hellbent right now. We took one. <clears throat> Ugh. I'm just dead because I lose a life. They took out my one card. Ugh. That was disgusting. <coughs> All right. All right, let's play another one here. I'm going to keep it on the same YouTube video because that was only three matches. Yeah, I mean, Modern just needs, like, mo Modern just needs to be scrapped, in my opinion. It has to be scrapped or you just have to completely remake the ban list. Like, Faithless Looting shouldn't be in the format. Street Wraith probably shouldn't be in the format. Um... Faithless Looting especially. Mox Opal should... Faithless Looting and Mox Opal shouldn't be in the format. Probably Simeon Spirit Guide shouldn't be in the format. When was the last time Pots played, like... This is yeah. Manamorphose is okay because it costs two mana to play. Because they just go... They just go Smallpox, you play Shadow, and then they go... Or they, then they, they eat it to you. you. You flash in your Snapcaster... And then they go smallpox and they kill your shadow. No, the is index fine, in my opinion. Like, there's just nothing that can like there's only one deck in the format that can punish the Izzet deck, in my opinion, for what it like for what it does. I don't think that is it I mean, I think Faithless Looting needs to go because like Faithless Looting doesn't do anything productive in the format. Even if you want to call like Is it Phoenix like alright, uh, we're gonna keep the same. It's not very good, but we have Faithless Looting. Would be fair, probably not. Whoa. I'm gonna cycle one of these. Might cycle the second one looking for a discard spell. There's a Gurmag Angler. I don't I think this means that there's like a rock deck. 
So like, I will likely need to find like a discard spell here or a removal spell to take care of Bob. I think it's just like a rock deck with main deck. Uh, one, two, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. I think this is a rock deck with main deck graveyard hate. Yeah, okay, so we're playing against a rock deck. Um, just gonna untap. The problem here is we can just like play into. So we're gonna crack both of our fetch lands to not give our opponent priority after we resolve Faithless Looting. So that if we want to cast Gurmag Angler, we can. Or make them do it now. Just kind of dictate when this gets cracked. And if they crack it now, we'll just hold Stubborn Denial up for Liliana. Okay. So now we can dig to Interaction. This is definitely going... Okay, so this is all about, like, what we want to deal with. And I think... I think I would rather not lose to Liliana. Because we can dig to kill... Uh, I'm going to discard this, because this gives us another delve. Because we can, like, stub a Liliana. And we can have two looks at a way to kill Bob next turn. So we're just going to wait. No, the, the flashback doesn't have anything to do with it. Like, yeah, it's nice, but, like, at its heart, it doesn't do anything. But uh, No, it doesn't do anything. But at the heart, it's not the problem with the card. Like, obviously, the flashback is good. I, 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 I misused my words when I said that. Ooh. Polluted Delta. So we're either just straight black green or we're bug. I would assume we're just straight. Oh, we're bug. Okay. I eat my words. Pikachu meme. Okay, let's start here. Oof. Well, are we going to cycle this? I guess we should. Okay, that's nice. We can fetch a basic off of this if we need to. One, two, three. So this Tarmogoyf is like huge. This Eternal Witness is huge. This Assassin's Trophy is a problem. So this, if I take this Eternal Witness, one, two, three, four. Tarmor Goyf's a four, five. Will become a five, six. Dude, this Goyf is a problem. But if I just, I have to take Eternal Witness. Because, like, they're just going to get this Tarmor Goyf back. Yeah, I just got to take Eternal Witness, I think. I mean, maybe we can tempo that out. I could just take Tarmogoyf, make them Eternal Witness back to Tarmogoyf, hit a land to snap deal with the Tarmogoyf. Like, it's slow, and we get a little ground out, but, like, the 2-1 body doesn't really matter. <clears throat> we do have three push to draw to. The problem is this Goyf is just huge. I'm going to take this Goyf, and if they try to, like, Eternal Witness back the Goyf, we can deal with it again. Like, the 2-1 on Eternal Witness isn't going to matter. It's just, it's, like, too slow. Not getting a blue source there might be a little loose.
Yeah, I should have gotten a blue land there. That was my fault. Okay. Should have got a blue land. Okay. There's Goyf. So now we're going to lose our angler unless we draw land. Or we draw a push. Yeah, we just we can't risk it. We have to just kill. I think we have to just take care of this Tarmor Life. Like we can Snapcaster our way through the rest of my opponent's hand. Like that Tarmor Life is just too big. And like if they trophy us, we get another land, which can fix our mana issues and allow us to start like, you know, double spelling with Snapcaster Mage. That tireless tracker is so annoying. But if they play Tracker, then they can't Trophy next turn. I think we just have to try to, like, pace them out of the game. Yep, you got it. Goodbye, Snapcaster Mage. That sucks. And I probably have to trade my Snapcaster. I probably should trade my... Well, maybe not. Playing Remand or Reflective Rage is not in my action. Well, we have quite the uh, we have quite the chat going on here. All right, your dad down. You got it. Let me go get myself an island. Can Thought Scout end a turn? Uh, I'm gonna if my opponent attacks. Let me Thought Scour before I do anything. Because I might trade it off. We, we milled a Death Shadow, which kind of sucks. How do I win? All right, I'm going to keep it around. That's a turn off the clock. But like, what's our best draw? Our best draw is like another Snapcaster. Yeah, I'm gonna just fetch. Tapped. Okay. We can't do anything with that though, because we fetched it tapped. All right, put on the bottom, put on top. So now we just have to try to block out of this turn, I guess. We they can go push, push. So maybe we're in a lot of trouble. But if they're pushing Snapcaster, yeah, I'm just going to trade. We can't snap scour. We don't have the necessary. Uh... All right. We don't have the necessary blue mana. I think we start off with this because our best hit would be like lightning bolt. We didn't hit anything there, which kind of sucks. All right, just keep the cards coming. This is tough. All right, we have a dismember that we can't cast. I'm gonna. I shouldn't have played that because I guess I don't have looting anyways. We're just like, we're dead to a land. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, 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 I probably could have played that a little differently. We get, we get quite a bit of an improvement after sideboard, which is nice. <clears throat> uh, 
Like I want this, I want, this is a maybe, these are definitely, this is definitely. These go out, this goes out. We probably cut one of these, I can cut one of these. I wanna be on the draw. Yeah, this is fine. Yep. That looks good to me. <sighs> yeah, the chat looks pretty good to us, to me, Hiso. I wonder if I can like move my mic down here. You know who is snoring up a storm. I wonder if I can get, get it, make it so you guys can hear it. So bear with me. It's pretty cute. All right, turn your turn your volume up. Do you hear him? He was all cute and snorry. I have to make sure my things are back here. I want to draw. Would like to mulligan. Philly boy is the man. Keep this. Put on the bottom. Yield through this turn. <clears throat> We're insulated against Bob slash Tarmogoyf. The bear would get destroyed. Well, the did around the bonus go. That sucks. It was like a friend told me to play it, so I played it. That was literally it. All right. I think all the Lilianas are pretty bad right now. Like, there's not a lot of small creature decks for Liliana Last Hope. The blue control decks go over the top of it. Liliana the Veil is only good in the Shadow Mirrors. I I haven't. I asked my friend about that, and he's just like, the mana's not that bad. This will likely get uh, Blood Crypt, but... Yeah, I should have. I messed up, because it's going to get a Blood Crypt. I asked him, he's just like, yeah, you're all right. I was like, okay. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, my friend. Ooh. This kind of messes our man up a little bit, but we should just trade while we can. <clears throat> yeah, guy just liked it. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a whirl. So neither of us has anything going on. I need a plan for a, okay. So we're going to crack that on our opponent's turn. I'm going to shock myself. It, it's good against the verdict one, but like, it's not even that good since like, because Teferi and Jace, they just go so far over the top of Liliana that it just doesn't matter. Uh, in my, in my experience. Like they just they just brown it so bad. I could do this now to hit a stub, which I think is worth it. If I hit a stub now to because I don't want to get wrecked by a Liliana here, so I just should give myself the option the like the chance to draw a stub, which I didn't. But I can thought scour into a stub. Like most of the time you're not supposed to do that against a discard deck, but I just want to give myself a chance here. Yeah, I did. I, I yeah, I came to it. Not good to do most of the time, but... Ooh, that's a big boy. Cube stub. I'm just going to kill this me man efficient. If my opponent has Stubborn Denial, then they have Stubborn Denial. Which they could. So, good draws be Snapcaster Mage. 
Not that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna run this out here. Play the wrong land. Give like give them information. Maybe you don't have a removal spell. Yeah, I, I asked the guy about that. He says that the mana sometimes ties you up. And I was like, all right, whatever. Okay, so that was going to happen regardless. I played the wrong land here. That's nice. So... I kind of just want to tap out and do this. Well, I know we're going to get at least this. We're going to try to strike this, these Tarmogoyce as much as possible. What cards? I guess I don't need to tap out. We can, like, bolt the Scavenging Ooze if they get frisky. <clears throat> I think J Jace is really good. Like, yes, the card dies to Doomblade. But, like, cards die to Doomblade. So we both kind of, like, yes, my opponent misses, but my Lightning Bolt doesn't really do anything. It's just what the guy plays. All right. We're going to take the Jace out of our graveyard. To make it so that this is as small as possible. We don't have... If we're taking the Jace out of our graveyard, there's no sense in us um, holding this land because we don't have Faithless Looting. We don't have Jace. Um, which ones are the best for us to have? Probably Thought Scour is not good. And I'm going to go with Stubborn Denial is very good, likely. No, Stubborn Denial. Mm. Yeah, I think... Stubborn Dial is better than Bolt. That was actually need to be even more. I can't show mana most of this. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I just... The Cardboard Live list doesn't match. I must have edited it. I changed, like, two or three cards. The old one there. I can go fix that in between games. We have two big boys in play. No, we have one less big boy in play. All right. You might as well attack. You're not blocking. We can still rip an angler here and play it. That's not bad. I think I'm just going to leave it, though, because I want to be able to kill, like, a Tarmogoyf. And I'm pretty sure that my opponent is, uh, like, the scavenging use just isn't going to scale. They only have one green source. Likely. And they gain a life, but it doesn't matter. If you're playing Death Shadow, draw against any deck with Thought Season in it. Because you just need the resources. Oh, nice. All right, we're going to hit the submit button. Oh, three boy. At least it's looking better. So Philly basically has a chemical burn on his bag, which is just awful. I feel so bad for him. All right, this hand is explosive. My opponent took the play. What a slow guy. Strictly worse for humans. Elves and scales. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I just I just played what my buddy told me to play. I played his deck list before. Trust him. So, just going to play it. Okay, so we might hit a discard spell here. So, I'm going to cycle this right now. God, I am so smart and thin.
What do you got? Gone. Like, yes, yeah, that Assassin's Trophy is very annoying, but... Okay. So we're going to look to... just We're going to play the two... Sh oh, now we're just going to go take this... Get a 1 1 in play. Because they have the regenerate, they have welding jar. My buddy that told me to do it plays an incredible amount of magic, so he's probably got his reason. All right, you got it. So I think this is actually a pretty good time to get my Jason to play. Because my opponent has no answers for it. We know they don't. They have to rip. My shadow is just a 1-1. One, one. So like even this creeping tar pit can hold it off if they want it to. And it flips. So we can go like flip um, Inquisition into shadow next turn. Okay, so they ripped that, which is kind of a kick in the junk. But we get to, it ramps us, we get to play a spell there at our end's depth. They play Swamp. I don't know why they did that. Turn off auto yields. No. <sighs> Got motoed. All right, let's do this first. Let's cycle. I should have bobbled myself because then I could have ordered these better. All right, let's just play this. Get this over here. I think I should have I should have uh, bobbled myself there to be without a doubt correct. Okay, so they're gonna pulse my shadow. All right, you've got it. This creeping tar pit's gonna be annoying. I guess we have an answer to it. It's not gonna be that annoying. Uh, yield until next end step. So we're going to get to draw two new cards here. Dismember's nice. I like a Kologon's Command. And yeah, a K Command would be an excellent draw right here. Last Hope would be a good draw here if we had it in our deck. It's worth, it's worth mentioning at least. That is not a good draw for my opponent. I think my opponent should have waited on that. So we're just going to pay full retail here, I think. And I don't really want to fetch because I can fetch a swamp if I need to. And I want to have a little more control of my life total. Okay, so we don't have a Serum Visions, which would be our nicest card to have there. So, you know, it's a little sad. Yeah, like, I'm not putting any pressure on my opponent. Oh, we're getting creepy. I'm just going to push this. And I think I'm going to take... Let's see. I only have two red cards in my deck. Three red cards left in my deck. So it's not like I really need... I'm not going to be double spelling with red. But, like, they have Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, I'll just get a... I'll just get a Steam Vents. Because I can fetch out a basic if I need to. And then I'm just going to, like, snap Thought Scour just to keep the cards going. I would love to be able to snap Serum Visions, but... Maybe that was loose to do because we don't have quite have an answer to Tarmogoyf. <laughs> Start with an attack. I would agree, Magus. You're right there. 
That's one of the third blue mana. What do you want? Three black source. Yeah. Because we're not casting these discard spells, really. Yeah, I mean, if my opponent wants to kill a Snapcaster Mage, they can kill a Snapcaster Mage. They would have jammed Liliana. Like, their hand's likely another land or a removal spell. I don't really want to go to five. That's my opponent's hand. It's either, a, it's either a removal spell or a land. Because they would have played a threat. Is this the point where you scour your... No, because I want, I want like, my graveyard. Because my graveyard with, like, three Snapcaster Mages can be an extension of my hand. I only have one left in the deck. What's my opponent got? You got, like, an Abrupt Decay. This Watery Grave's in play. I don't really want to take two points to find out it's an Abrupt Decay. No, Faith of Sleeping's not in my deck. It's either a land. I'm just going to hold Because if it's a removal spell and they kill this, whatever. I'm going to hold it until I draw, like, a Shadow or a Gurmag Angler. It wouldn't, it's not a threat, or they would have played it, as they showed with the Tireless Tracker. Vomit. That thing is going to be tough to beat. So I can attack into it, let them have a zombie. I'm pretty sure they drew that off the top. So here's what I can do. I can attack. I can thought seize myself to five. But it doesn't matter. I think I'm just going to pass, block it, and push it. This zombie's annoying. I guess they could have had Eternal Witness. Scavenger Gates is okay. I mean, it's not okay. Like, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, so they did have a land. I think they top decked. This and this, and they had the land, which is which is nice to know that we read it right. What's our Ross and plan? Yeah, there are a lot of matchups where you going down cards is really bad, like because the deck struggles against in these kind of matchups. Where go especially when your deck's focused. Like it's a good it's a good game one card. But like I have just never liked it after sideboard. Am I just dead on the board here if I don't find a way to kill this thing? Yeah. The beats. The beats. Our opponent had a timely I think what that game came down to is my opponent ripped. My opponent ripped the trophy to kill the Jace. Rick Stelver. I know you had to take a seat for that one. I think... I think Tannen's in trouble. That deck kind of goes over the top of the Delver deck. Like... I mean, like, I like I like playing the Stifle version of the deck against it because you can attack their mana base a lot more. That's what I like. I like I think that, like, if that deck casts its spells, you're going to lose. Yeah, I mean, we had to dodge, like... Like, I think my opponent hit the Decay on turn... Turn two. Then Kalidus into... Um, Kalidus into... Scavengers, I think they had that delta for most of that game. At least, like, the way it played out, which is unfortunate. Tanger, two name, yeah, they'll do it. 
Uh, I would like to play first. And I'd like to keep this hand. We have a Stubborn Denial into a turn two Angler. This hand is nice. And our opponent Williams. We're going to snap Stub like a cantrip here. I th I, I'm pretty sure, certain. I love stubbing cantrips. But we might be able to play like Angler plus cantrip. So like probably shouldn't do that. Unless I get a read on what my opponent's plan. I'm going to play Bloodstained Mire. It represents more decks. I didn't, I didn't watch any of the GP. Are we playing the same guy again? We're just going to stub this. Because it's just going to take my Angler. Yield through this turn. All right, that's a little unfortunate. I might end up playing that over the angler. Let's thought seize here. Let's let's if we find stubborn denial. Yeah, let's just go like the. Well, now we're def. I think we're locked into doing this now because I don't I don't want to run this into a small pox. I think we're playing against an Urborg. I think we're playing against yeah. So let's take this. This is going to find us a basic. I, I should have done that differently because of how Urborg works. All right, you got it. Polluted Delta the Rack. Another Rack, okay. So yield until next end step. We're going to get an island. Again, my opponent chose not to draw. Which is interesting. I take no damage. So that thought sees doesn't do anything. Um, we're going to go like this. And then we're just going to pass. We're not going to play our land out. Yeah, Raven's Crime. It's going to be a tough race to win. How'd she rip the small box? Wrench mine? Okay. That's still not great. <clears throat> I'll still go to the rack. I usually beat this deck, but I'll always take their draw. Yeah. When I get a second watery grave, I wanted to keep my life total high because I knew I was going to have to race these racks. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna help with the race. The problem is that I need to I don't know how I do this. I need to like rip. Or I'll have to just get rid of this. The problem is I'm not ever gonna keep this battle rage in my hand. Always draw against discard decks. I mean, the shadow deck should draw. You should be on the draw against John Megas. I mean, I'm not sure if this deck should, but the shadow deck should. Um, I'm just going to discard. We're never going to be able to hold this battle rage, so I'm just going to get something productive. We're going to take four... I think I'm just dead because they just because they have a land. I guess I need them to hit a spell. Need yeah, like a Liliana here. No, now we're just dead. Yeah. Okay, that was sad. Okay, so again, we're just going to sideboard everything that's like kind of two for one ish. Uh, we're going to keep any hand we can. 
bring in these. And we're going to cut this. We should cut dismember because we're not we're not playing that kind of game, I don't think. And let's cut looting. Well, maybe we have to bring maybe we have to keep this. We probably want the street wraith because it says draw a card and keep one dismember. We saw this guy at Bob, so we're gonna keep our pushes in. Dismember's a lot of life to pay. Yeah, I think we're gonna go like this. Yeah, we're playing shadows. We're talking about shadows. Hey, take it easy. They're just having, he's just having a conversation, dude. There's no sense to get snarky. I do not want to play first. And I unfortunately have to mulligan. You should never mulligan this, this deck if you can avoid it. I venture back into this format, and I wonder why I do it. I do need lands, which is a very unfortunate part about our hand. We will be mulliganing. All right, we're going to keep. And again, you just keep any random six card. You, you basically keep any playable hand you can against this deck. I have not tried Engineered Explosives. Um, I'm going to hit them with a discard spell because we could hit like a wrench mind or dark confidant. Field through this turn. All right. Um, get rid of the shadow because they have, we know they have a, um, fatal push. Probably get rid of Kolagon's command because we can't cast it. So they just have Fatal Push X. That's not bad. We just had to hope they didn't they didn't rip on us. Could have fetched the basic there to leave a card, which probably would have been correct. We play Mono Pops. Oh my gosh. What a beating. I'm going to sack my fetch land. No, I'm not. Oh, I shouldn't have got... God. I'm playing so bad. I didn't think that. I was like, oh, I have a land. I'll sack my fetch land. Gosh darn it. We'll get rid of this one. All right. So they, they just have Fatal Push. Let's go get Watery Grave. Ugh, not playing very well. We don't want either of these. We're probably going to ditch our push because they don't have any targets for it. Steam Vents, you're right. Steam Vents was a... Didn't think about that. So we can't play this because it's into a... Um, into a push. So I think I'm just going to play this tapped. I always forget that about Arborg that it makes Steam Vents a try land. I've been playing enough Legacy where I should know that. Like the depth decks play Arborg and make Steam Vents a try dual land. I could have held that land, I guess. Okay. Yeah, because now I take a three damage I didn't have to. I have not played very well throughout this league. Yeah, dude. Lawrence Harmon is the big brain of Bob in Legacy. Like, Lawrence Harmon brought it back, and it's, it's, it's flexing right now. What am I doing with my turn? What am I doing? If I hit a land, am I snap seer envisioning? Yeah. I just wanted to hold it for a wrench mind, but 
I think we're so far behind that it doesn't really matter at this point. They have another small box. Jeez. Okay. So a small box pushes their hand. Should I just flash the Snapcaster Mage in? That it seems kind of loose. Like I think I need to draw a card with the Snapcaster Mage in order to be in this game. I'm just gonna take the. I'm just gonna take the pox. Liliana the Veil. So they got rid of their push. Oh my gosh, they got rid of their push. I just have not been paying attention. All right, let's take this pox. We can deal with Liliana. Okay, we pass. They keep drawing spells, which is not good for the home team. I'm going to continue to churn through my deck because I would like to find a way to enable this Snapcaster Mage. Okay, so they're drawing another Urborg, which is nice. Okay, we're probably going to ditch our Fatal Push. Um, How many Thought Scours do I have left in my deck? I have three. I'm going to cycle this. We could hit a Thought Scour. Okay, we hit a Snapcaster Mage. That's a nice draw. So what's the play, Chad? We go Snap Inquisition. I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're just going to play Gurmag Angler. We're going to get our boy on the battlefield. Well, I sh like yes and no because like I need to turn through my deck and I need to know what that card is to discard when it's when it's likely going to be Raven's Crime. I think normally I wouldn't do that. Okay, so this goes. This is an easy discard. So we're gonna take the point damage here. Probably should have kept that, but it, like no matter what, it would do the same thing. Yeah, I should have kept that because I can't Snapcaster it back. Oh my god. Uh, man, I am all over the place. And now I'm just dead. Man, I'm playing poorly today. Like, you're never going to see this. Like, we played against this twice today. You're never going to see this at a real event, which is like, ugh. Ugh. I've also just played, I played like garbage today. Oh, it's frustrating. I've played like four matches, and I think I've made like, like very large mistakes in like two or three of them. I would like to play first, and I would like to keep. We can do the bobble trick on one. Was it the same person? I'm not sure. All right, let's do the bobble trick. Our opponent's on a mulligan. So we do want this land, as unfortunate as it is. I'm going to hold this Serum Visions because we don't really know what we're looking for yet. Like, we're obviously looking for a way to enable Angler. Hey, thank you for the sub subscribe subscription there, Tell Teleprakrandu. Appreciate that. I appreciate you very much. Yeah. All right, so playing against Tron, so we are going to stub the hell out of that. I like this matchup if I'm on the play because I can do this. 
if I want to draw against Tron, I don't think I'm ahead, but I think I think on the play I am because of like that interaction there. So one two. So I'm going to Serum Visions off of this land because if I hit a fetch land, I can play Gurmag Angler. Even though, and if I don't, I can still just hold Stubborn Denial. We don't want either of these. I'm still just going to cycle. Okay. We'll pass. We'll stub anything because that means we can play. I guess we can play Angler regardless. What should I play? Are you having a party on my turn race and then the PT? I don't know. I would play whichever deck's most fun. Because that's what mo that's what magic, like, what should be bad. I'm going to stub this. Stub. <clears throat> uh, red fetch land would be nice. Red land, that's pretty, that's like almost good. Play this. Let's just leave some of our graveyard intact. They're all fun in different ways. For what it's worth, I think this deck is really good, the one that I'm playing, but I don't think it's very much fun to play. It's like, oh, it's a stressful. All right, we're about to get whacked over the head next turn by a Karn. All right. All right, I'm ready to get whacked out of here. Um like maybe we can beat that because they have to go minus seven to kill me. They have to just trade. They have to straight up trade with the angler, or I can just like attack it twice and kill it. Okay, that was like the best pickup they could have done there. Yes, Pharaoh is very good against TBR. So like fetch land. So we'll start off with a looting. Yeah. Like I said, if Grixis Control can cast their spells against Delver, I think they're going to win. All right, we're just going like full eight mode. Like next turn, the plan is to hit like a Street Wraith or a Lightning Bolt and then bolt ourselves in Battle Rage. Or I could just get a Lamogged. All right. Get out of here. All right. Okay, so we want Stroke. Want rejection, want some number of these, definitely want a raid. Cards we don't want. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt's decent. I tend to cut these to make room for this. And I think that's how we're gonna do it. Alright. Submit deck. I could have Hercules Recall back at Worm Coil, which would be kind of nice. Yeah, dude. It's like, CFB is doing really well by picking all this up. They have a big opportunity. Yeah, we can't keep this. Uh. 
I don't think I can keep this hand. Like, Teamer Battle Rage is really bad with Gurmag Angler. We're already, like, too far off hitting Angler. All right, I mean, this is the best hand we got so far. Put this on the bottom. I'm going to cycle on one because I could hit a Wraith. Or hit a discard spell, excuse me. Okay. So we can play a shadow on two if we draw it. Like that's obviously our best draw on our deck. Our best draw on our deck's a threat, and we get two looks at it. That's like the best draw on our opponent's deck for us. <clears throat> Hers is mine. So our opponent's like as fast as they can get his turn four Tron. And I doubt they're even close if they let on Forest. All right, Rejection's nice. We milled a Shadow, which kind of sucks. There's a Shadow. Um, I'm going to go fetch a Steam Vents to make it so we have blue up and red up in case we have to bolt ourselves. Like, if they just go, like, Walking Ballista on turn two. We don't really want to counter that. We'd rather just like lightning bolt our face. You don't have to wait for top eight to see the deck lists. Yeah, cardboard live is awesome. Oh, be a JD. All right, you got it. I'm gonna bolt myself. End of turn. Like we're just gonna turn up the heat. That's that's another reason why I kind of like the one the one bolt in the deck, because sometimes it's just randomly like decent. All right, we can't really do anything yet. My opponent played the wrong Tron land. <coughs> so we have a couple draws that win the game next turn. Like Snapcaster Mage wins the game. Um, Battle Rage wins the game. Yeah, and you see enough cards where it's just going to do something at some point. It's a nice draw. So we're not going to deal, we're not going to put our opponents to any lower than we already are. Because both shadows are lethal. So like we win the game through like a Karn. We basically win the game through like everything next turn. No, like, it, it's just so, like, the, the the fourth push is, like, pretty comparable. Like, push is pretty comparable to Lightning Bolt, I think. And especially like, the fourth one. One of the foil GP bolts, yeah. <laughs> Got to get it in there while you can. Okay. This is two, four, five. Thrag Tusk is annoying, and I could have beaten Thrag Tusk. Yeah, could have beaten Thrag Tusk. I should I should have fetched Shock and made it so that I, like oh, they were dead through Thrag Tusk. You're right. Oh, Ovarian, Ovarian, Ovanu, Ovanu. I believe you are right. All right. Um, I don't think much changes play draw in this matchup. It's just not that kind of game. Cutie little Philly boy is just napping over there. Uh, we're going to keep this hand. Like, it's got really good disruption set. My opponent mulligans. We need to find a threat, but, like, this hand is really solid. You know, we can discard, we can enable Shadow. My opponent will get four cards, which is nice. No, chat one. Chat always wins. My opponent put a card on the bottom. So we're, we're just looking for Angler or Shadow at this point. Okay, wow, we're, we're in a good spot. 
I'm going to be very sad if we lose this game. We don't want that. We're just going to go Watery Grave. And I might just Thought Scour. I'm just going to hold mana up because likely my opponent is... Um, my opponent's just going to go whatever it is. Um, on their turn, all they're doing is like land, crack this. Oh, wow, I didn't even land. So like thought seizing them doesn't really do anything, but I can like, you know, develop my game plan a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This will be number six. <coughs> I appreciate Cardboard Live coming in with the... Oh, I guess... I can't tell if that's the person or the extension that does that. If it's the extension, it's gas. If the person, it's also gas. Just going to wait, because they can easily have Dismember. That's a card that makes sense for them to have here. All right, this game is over, which is like a very unfortunate for my opponent. I think I'm just gonna thought seize them. Well, I guess I want to get this game over. I don't really want to disrupt my opponent, so I think I'm gonna go start with the Seer Visions. Maybe find another Shadow. Just get everything over with. Uh, that's not going to matter by the time it does it. So I'm just going to cycle this. Might hit a shadow if it doesn't. Okay. Then we're going to hold Stubborn Denial. Um, We're just going to take you Worm Coil Engine because it doesn't get stubbed. This is a deck that improves quite a bit from the London Mulligan roll, in my opinion. I guess the Gurmag Angler was worth it because it enabled like dead next turn. Um, let's just take a stone because taking a stone will enable less double spelling. I'm already at five. Holy shit. I don't know where it happened in my life total. Hmm. I think the new mulligan rule helps Death Shadow, for what it's worth. I'm actually writing about that this week on MTG Corner. I've got that article like half done. I think it'll likely change a lot of things. But I think I think it helps Death Shadow. Okay. Top deck Tron piece. Don't worm coil engine me, bro. Got it. I'll draw this later. This one there. Yeah, you get to, like, pick the card you want. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'm going to put the deck list up here, and then I'll be right back.
everybody. All right. I saw that he I just he just tweeted it out that he got it, which was good. <clears throat> which is good. It's good. Johnny got a Johnny got a trophy on his birthday. <clears throat> so what are we one and two in this league i don't even know we'll look in between after the next game all right i would like to play first i would like to mulligan i would like to keep put some glasses on to make sure my eyes don't get sore after watching the screen for so long. So I'm like, what? I'm two hours in. All right, we're going to put that on top. And I'm actually just going to hold because there's a chance we don't want that and we can shuffle it away. And we can just thought scour at the end of our opponent's turn. Like if we want it, we can just not do anything. And we can go like Serum Visions plus push. I'd like to give myself the option to draw that Fatal Push. Hmm. It's going to be a long YouTube video. We just smushed together two leagues. Spire Bluff Canal. So we're likely playing against Phoenix. And I think if we're playing against Phoenix, I have the first thing covered. Then I'm going to shuffle this away. I want to find a discard spell. I've got the first thing in the ice taken care of. If it's Storm, I still have the first bear covered. So I'd like to hit Gurmag Angler here or a discard spell. Stub is also nice. All right, I'm going to do this right now. <clears throat> okay, so let's go get another watery rave and we will serum visions. Set the top of our deck up. Well, I don't really want to. I'm gonna just kind of hold up here because I don't want them to go like Manamorphose, which th this is a mistake because I, I fetched. Bolt me. What? going on I am so confused faithless looting you've got it I'm going to stub the next draw spell though I probably should have stubbed this because this likely means that they have phoenixes rolled up and can bring them back I'm just going to stub this. I think the fact that my opponent did not discard any um, did not discard any like Phoenixes means their hand needs help. And like Serum Vision is the best like helper card. Thoughts even would be nice. All right, I'm going to go Serum Visions, probably likely into a Thought Scour. We topped like a land. I'm just going to play the Shadow, not really worried about my Scries. Likely. Um, 
I'm gonna put this on the top. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the top and give myself the option to shuffle it away or to scour it away. Because like, I very well could go like dismember thing in the ice, um, untap, discard, death shadow. Be a pretty productive turn. All right, you got it. There's another matchup where we draw. All right, I'm going to go with I still want this this discard spell. I had to take care of Philly Boy. My wife's parents are here. And uh, someone had to sit here and watch him. I would have liked to go to Syracuse for sure. But my wife's parents in here are doing uh, bridal stuff. Wow. All right. Well, let's just take this lightning axe. Let's play a shadow. Um, he, he has, he's got an infection on his, so he got neutered the last week and he's basically got an infect, like they put cream on his bag to like make it so that it wasn't irritated after, okay, so that's what they drew to make it so it wasn't irritated after, um, after he, whatever I was going to say, how do I say this to make it so it wasn't irritated after his surgery and he got an allergic reaction to that. Not too much. I think four color shadow is a good deck. I think it's like way worse than Grixis. Yeah, the land's a little awkward. They haven't hit a Phoenix yet, which is pretty wild. Are like a Thoughtseize? Is that a Thoughtseize? No. Because they're likely just going to play Crackling Greg next turn. Does that just kill my opponent next turn? Dis attack 15. Dismember 9. Put this on the bottom. I'm going to put this on top, but I can shuffle it away. I did. I did try to leave it. I thought it was cool. I think it, I think the list is weird though. The one the guy did with, like, I think Karma Wipe is just not very good in that deck. Like, I don't know what you want. Like the list that I played only had three mutagenic growths. I think you want four. Um, I don't know if you want to play Step Links like it used to, but lists just seem weird. I got one up on my YouTube channel of that. I went two and three. I think I made a mistake against Burn, which cost me from casting cashing the league. Yeah, but it's just like too clunky. It's not what that deck wants to do. Hey Phil, leave it. Yeah, you. Wow, they still have not hit a Phoenix. Okay, still have not hit a Phoenix. That's pretty wild. There's just John with Soul Scar and Swifty. Soul Scar Mage seems kind of like a meme to me. More tribal in my early waters instead of become events. Um, I think become events is better because like you don't want to play blue. I'm gonna thought he's my opponent. The last card's Crackling Drake. At least I think it is. Slash hope it is. I was watching the chat there, so I, I didn't really super pay attention here. Okay. Yeah, the last card was Crackling Drake. I played Tribal Zoo at my first ever PTQ back, I don't know, 2012, I think. I'm going to grab some more coffee.
Okay, so cards we want. We want these four and this. Cards we don't want. We don't want this. Not even sure we want looting if we're bringing in these good cards. Let's cut two of these and one Snapcaster Mage. We're going to have whatever. We've got five ways to kill Thing in the Ice and Crackling Drake. We got we have seven ways in our deck to kill Thing in the Ice and Crackling Drake, and we have Surgicals. So, like, we're pretty set up here. So, I think this is what we're going to do. I dislike looting once my deck is focused, which is just kind of a rule in general. Like, I'm never going to, I'm usually never going to have this card in after sideboard. It's a pretty decent game one card. Especially considering, like, thought, like, Surgical Extraction is going to make it so we go down on cards. Even though it puts us ahead, we could still lose to another. Hey, leave it. Yeah, you. Yeah, I played Brian Kibler Zoo for a while. Like Domri, Wild McCoddle. My opponent chose to play. My opponent doesn't really know what's going on in this matchup. We should draw. The Death Shadow deck should draw here, in my opinion. Yep. Same. All right. New threat. But we can deal with the thing in the ice on two. We can extract our opponent's brains. We don't want a second one of these. We need a threat. That is what we need here. My opponent topped. How lucky. And they did it right now. This probably that probably means they just they have a one lander and they just topped the second land. They didn't want to get this op stubbed. That's what my gut tells me. I'm just gonna see our visions because I know what we need. We need either lands. And Death Shadow, or we need lands in Gurmag Angler at this point. Okay. Thoughtseize is nice, but I'm not gonna cast it. Because like we have we have all of my opponents like turn two bombs covered. I would just like it to make sure that I can play my game of magic, and that's by finding a second land and a threat. Hey, leave it. All right, and that is what we did. Uh, we don't, we probably want both of these, and we want them in this order, I think. Yeah, that card gets some center, that deck's got some sentimental value. For sure. What is up, my bud? What is up, my bud? You are healing up. I'm so happy you're healing up. Philly's looking good. I'm so happy. My wife's gone for almost all of March, which means I should be streaming a lot in March. Probably look to pick it up. Maybe I'll stream some arena. All right, you've got an opponent. Our opponent hit an Arclight Phoenix. We're not going to surgical that now unless they make us surgical it because I don't want them to like surgical their own Phoenix in response to us surgicaling it. This is interesting. This probably means they have a free spell and it's likely a surgical extraction. Okay. Ooh, sore neck. So our top card is land, second to top card is shadow. <clears throat> so let's shock ourselves here. I feel like we're pretty squarely ahead at the moment. Okay, so we're just going to take this Snapcaster Mage, and I'm just going to Surgical 
the Arclight Phoenixes right now before my opponent draws their own surgical and makes it so that we can't take the Phoenixes out of their deck. Uh, more like their computer glasses. Yeah, they, they like reflect blue light. They just make your eyes more comfortable. But I wear these whenever I play like a lot of moto or if I watch. I have some at work too. So my opponent has triple surgical. So how do they win? So they boarded out their crackling drakes, which is interesting. They have one more snapcaster mage. And they have three thing in the ices. I really don't. I think Crackling Drake's very good against Death Shadow. Like I don't understand why you have Gut Shot in your deck before while you have Crackling Drake or Flame Slash. Flame Slash doesn't do anything. Like these two cards should assuredly be Crackling Drakes. Okay. Dude, styling and profiling. They, they make it for, you should look up to it. Like Gunner Optics does a lot of um, gaming glasses. Like, let me, I follow Gunner Optics on Twitter. I tag them sometimes. Gunner Optics. Is that a Gunner Optics or Gunner Glasses? Like, G-U-N-N-A-R. You should look them up, though. They're they're really they're really nice on your eyes. I think I can actually just am I just free to thought scour my opponent here? Yeah, I think I'm going to. Just so that I hit my I want to cycle through my cards here, and I have a death shadow on top. I should have done it right there because they put two cards on top. I'm going to do this right now, and I'm going to get one of their cards. Because I should have done it in response to the opt. And I'm just free to I'm free to Thought Scour them, because they don't have Crackling Drake, and they don't have... Um, they don't have Crackling Drake, and they don't have uh, Arclight Phoenix in their deck anymore. Yeah, I, 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 have, I have a pair at work also. So I really don't want to run my shadow out while it can get lightning bolted. So I'm going to think about that. They likely have a thing in the ice. Okay. That's a nice draw. That is a nice draw. All right. I don't understand. They topped one of those. Unless they topped the looting. So now we just have to hope they don't rip Lava Axe. So they only have one left in their deck. This is a reason to play Shadow. Like you, the, the, This is a really solid matchup. If they rip Lightning Axe and they don't have anything going on. Yeah, I think my opponent doesn't have a very good understanding of how to sideboard with their deck. Because I, I think that, like, in this resource-based matchup, you're sideboarding out your main resource. Like, like, like Crackling Drake's just insane. Well, hopefully we can 3-2 this league after getting browned a little bit. I, 
I do not have a cyborg guide. You should look up Ben Jones or Brandon Dalloway. I will have a cyborg guide if I decide to play. If I can play in regionals this weekend, I'll have a list that I want to play and how I want to cyborg. Yeah, I would agree with that, so cold. Gunner is expensive. I'm going to keep this hand. I've honestly drawn it once, and it was just terminated. Like, it just killed something. I don't really know why Brandon decided to play it, but he did, so, like, I just went with it. Um, I'm just going to wait. Like, I could thought seize here, but, like, the cards that I want to thought seize are Daybreak Coronet and um, Enchantment that gives protection from creatures. And I can, I'm, they're not going to coronet. I can stub that other one. This gives me a chance to Thought Scour into Gurmag Angler. Plus, do something else next turn. Yep, we're going to let that go. I think I'm probably just going to let this go, too. I might stub a. Uh, theory of armor. Yeah, I'm gonna stub that. I think letting this resolve is probably a little scary. And all I do is need time because I have battle rage, and death shadow plus battle rage is going to give me the W. I would assume that's why they did it. Okay, um, now we're going to Thought Seize because we have to hit a key card here. I would like to Surgical, but like they have like Daybreak Coronet or Protection from Spirit from Creatures would be bad. Yeah, you can... And we just have to hope to hit a land. If we hit a land next turn, then we got, we got Gurdad in play. But he's like, Dad, draw the... Draw the Gurdad, dude. Get Gurdad in play. What are you doing? Stop messing around. Yep, you got the Glade Boy. I can just F6 through this turn. And if they rip, they rip. Such is life. Crack me for three. All right. Give me a land so I don't have to so I don't have to sweat it. The sweat. <sighs> I mean, if we were gonna lose this way, it's it's like my fault, you know. Like I kept a one lander. It's just the cost. I, th I think my hands a keep every time. I'm not really gonna thought. I'm not interested in thought seizing my opponent because, or discard spelling because there's like nothing they could have that would be matter. I think like it's likely just another land. They could have a path, but like you know whatever. All right, had nothing opponent. It could be a daybreak or a daybreak. No, what's the core spirit answer? You drew path to exile. Okay. Path to exile is pretty bad. It put us to four. You should just fetch. Definitely get your dry armor. Definitely get your dry armor opponent. If they get dry armor, I'm going to scoop because I don't have anything else to that. Hey, Phil, leave it. Leave it. Hey, no. Let's draw your card. Okay. I don't think I have any outs anyways. Like, I have to draw Death Shadow into... And I take four, I go to two. I don't think I can, I can draw Death Shadow and... Okay. That likely kills me too because like I take five and then like one of them is lethal next turn.
And like we lost, so we didn't draw a second land. And like the hand that I kept was that was gonna happen to. Okay, we're on we're on no outs. No outs. All right. Um, our sideboard is really not set up for this, and correctly so. I could bring in Surgical just for the memes, because, like, I want some removal in my deck, but I don't want a lot. Like, these Fatal Pushes, not great. Like, are these better as just... Phyrexian mana, deal two damage to myself. Enable delve. Then I've got three removal spells. I think they're better. I literally think Surgical Extraction is better than these Fatal Pushes. It's gonna kind of suck if they uh, if they leyline me, but I can just like surgical one of my own things and not pay for it. Playing its models, like we have three removal spells for the spirit dancer. Colgan's command, a three mana card against I think a three mana card against Boggles is that's not really on the veil. It's kind of nonsense. I think Jace is too slow also. I want to speed my deck up. I don't want to slow it down. And I think Surgical just dealing myself damage and dumping a card in is better. <coughs> well, I'm thinking that they're going to have Leyline. Also, then, like, two mana. But I just want to make my deck fast. Yeah, I'm just going to try this. I mean, it is narrow, but, like, it, I mean, it's something. Like, these are so bad. You know what I mean? What are the last ones? They're just computer glasses that reflect blue light. They're Karaka, Karatikov, Karatikov. Surgical is also narrow, yes, but, like, worse comes to worse, it enables my game plan. It makes me aggressive. Like, I'm not excited to have Surgical Extraction in my deck. This is a moment. Yeah, we need a threat. So I get a scry and another luck. My opponent mulliganed as well. All right, we're going to go five. Right, we're going to keep this. All right, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, dude. <coughs> I actually have super good at eyesight. I have uh, 2015, 2015 uh, vision. So like what, what the normal person sees at, I'm just gonna bobble them. I'll check it out, see what it is. They put a card on the bottom. Horizon Canopy. I don't think that's worth. If they had like a Boggle or like a Daybreak Cornet, then I wouldn't Thought Scare them probably. But yield until next up step. Okay, there's the scout. All right, let's thought scour ourselves. Best hit is like Thoughtseize, Street Wraith, Battle Rage, Stubborn Denial. Snapcaster is not good. Gurmag Angler is good. 
Okay, we're likely, we're going to leave this, we're going to leave Dismember in our, in our graveyard because we might have a line where we go like end of turn, flash and snapcaster mage, dismember it. Like I don't think we're gonna have enough time to play in flashback a looting or to take a turn off from a, adding to the battlefield and play looting. Like I wanna just like next turn I wanna hopefully draw something that impacts the board, play Death Shadow, turn after that, attack with my creatures, give myself the option to dismember my death dismember my snapcaster mage. Yeah, dude, if Days was legal, oh, like, that's just so idiotic. There's just so many people that are, like, there are so many people that want cards in Modern that would not help Modern. All right, let's do, cycle this first. Phil. Okay. Like, there are so many awesome cards in Legacy that would just... They would just ruin Modern in a heartbeat. Hey, stop that. Do you want me to rub your belly or something, bud? You're just uncomfortable, aren't you, buddy? So we can deal ourselves 8 damage and make this Shadow lethal on its own over 2 turns. I'm kind of in for it. Yeah, dude. Bucket. Tinker and soul room. Soul ring. Just make it happen. Billy boy. Come here, Phil. What's worse, days in the moon mulligan roll? Days. If you're armor, you got it. Four four. In this economy. We're dead to like path to exile, rank four. Okay. Okay, so is it worth dismembering our own Gurmag Angler to knock an enchantment off of this and make it so that our opponent... No, that doesn't work, right? Because it would just deal us four points of damage. Okay. We wouldn't be able to actually, like, they would just eat it. Battle Rage. Okay. I think the play is to actually just attack with Angler. And then hold this back here. And then, like, just hope our opponent doesn't have a way to grow this much more. People are used to playing with cards that are on the battlefield. Like it's different when you're playing against those cards. Uh, yeah. What is Snapcaster Rage doesn't do anything though, right? It literally doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Like, like the two one body is useless. <clears throat> like if it added to the battlefield, sure. But like, it, it, like if that thing didn't have trample. He could have attacked this turn with Angler. What do you mean? All right. 
They got it. Okay. Make them dead to bolts. You could have attacked this turn with Angler and Snapcaster Mage. Well, they just block, right? If they want to do that. And it doesn't do it doesn't do anything though, right? Like if we hit if we hit stubborn denial, having stub snap stub into the game. Like we could still die to like path to exile here and whatever it is. The uh, path 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 uh, path flying enchantment that costs one. If we had four bolts, it'd be different, I think. All right, uh, what do we want to do? Let me hit, turn this off. 